Hello people from Solnet. Welcome to our channel. You know this, the channel where we present the things that we really like. Today with Johan again. Hello Johan. Hello Chris. I don't want to make again the joke with the <laughs> Deutsche Bank. Everybody Mannschaft. knows. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everybody knows. Uh, as we've promised uh, today, uh, another gear. The last time uh, we was uh, here presenting a comparison between uh, two generation of Ibanez. Uh, that's why today we, we remain in the Ibanez um, area. But with something else, something special. Uh, Johan, please. Yes. What is it about? It's a special pedal from Ibanez. It's the uh, 1986 Metal Charger MS-10. It's a distortion pedal. Uh, the follower of the uh, famous Ibanez TS9 and the follower Ibanez SM9, I think. Uh, it's got a different chip in it, but it's um, more for the 80s generation. And it's quite interesting because the settings are not so regular as on other. Pedals. So, uh, as I understand, this is a pedal made by Ibanez after the TS9. Yes. Uh, maybe because they saw the um, success that they have with the TS9, yes, they considered right. to go with more gain in the future generation. That's, right. yeah. um, that's why they create this one. But mm -hmm. what is very interesting, the TS9 remains still an iconic pedal. Yes. And the MS10. Uh, I cannot say it's the same famous like uh, no, no. like the TS9. Just but in let's the 80s. let's yeah. see if it's uh, correct like this or not. If yeah. uh, deserve to be famous or or not. This, uh, I think it's color. for the uh, metal community because the uh, TS9 was made for uh, not so much distortion as in the metal world. Yes. And, uh, but, but it's used also it's in used, metal world yes. right now as a pusher. Be as a, as a the, booster, yeah. Yes, as yeah. a booster before the DMs. Yeah, a lot of it. people use uh, yeah. TS9. But this one, maybe it was created to generate distortion, not just own. like a booster, uh, yeah. on its own. Yeah. yeah. It's and it's got some like special features uh, different from the TS9 settings. Mm -hmm. The uh, complete name is Metal Charger. Metal Charger, yeah. Yeah, MS10, Metal Charger. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's see what it's about. Mm -hmm. We have the guitars here. Uh, first of all, we're going to use this uh, Les Paul copy. It's a guitar for uh, made by Zemik, yeah, in Korea. Uh, Zemik, it's if I remember, it's a Japanese company. Yes, I but think this so. product is uh, Kore Korean made. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, uh, nice tone. Um, Seymour Duncan uh, design uh, and do we have enough time? Let's see, just a second. Mm -hmm. Help me, we yes. gonna see how hot are the um, the pickups, yeah. the uh, humbuckers. I'm, it's very interesting to see this. And then we have an idea how these humbuckers react with the um, pedal. With the MS10, yeah. Yeah, please help me with the cable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's put this in. Okay. Let's see. Now, let's see. We have here, please. Yeah. So we are in bridge. Bridge humbucker. 15. So 15, yeah. yeah, 15 kilo. kilo ohms. Let's say 16, it's 15.7.8. Yeah. Yes. So it's yes. somehow a hot uh, yeah. a pickup. It's not extremely hot, but uh, yeah, it's That's okay. classic rock. Yeah, it's uh, classic. Yeah. And the uh, neck the pickup. Neck. Yeah, I expect to this 7.6, 7.7k. .7 yeah, typically eight. for let's say uh, blues smooth yeah uh, sound okay. yeah nice okay okay this was done or yeah, this is in bypass this is bypass yes this is in bypass and but clean channel I, i'm curious if the volume react to bypass okay that's one yeah no, doesn't react. 
doesn't really have pedal on. There are old pedals. Yeah. There are old pedals where the uh, volume react also in bypass. Okay. It's not a yeah. true bypass yeah. somehow. Yeah. Yeah. But, but to this one not. Was not usual in the 80s, yeah. I think. Yeah. No difference. Okay, we have everything in 12 on this mm -hmm. amp. Uh, let's we'll start with the clean channel. So we have the clean channel, everything in 12, okay. engage. engage. There it's every, everything in 12 also. No, that's the... The, the volume is maximum, let it, yeah. no problem. Okay. It, it works and like this. this all the other settings are in 12. Okay. Distortion, kind moderate blues, distortion. Blues yeah. rock, something uh, like that. More like, um, how can I name it? Like a crunch? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. crunch to distortion. Yeah. With everything, with everything in 12. Yeah. yeah? I, uh, I don't think. Let's see with this. It's normal because of the um, you know, in the yeah. neck. Uh, the tone. Okay, um, we have enough uh, space or uh, range in equalizer on the yeah. on the amp. Yeah, we can do this also on the pedal. Yes. but with everything in twelve, this is the let's say raw uh, signal. It's not quite the raw because clear it's uh, affected. Yeah. being everything in 12, but mm. uh, yeah, we're gonna do this uh, during the time, uh, all the pedals that we have to present, mm -hmm. we start in, in 12 with uh, them and also yes. with the amp to have a, somewhere a reference, yes. the point of yes. reference, it's important. Mm. Okay, let's see what can do with the um, distortion knob. So first knob is the distortion, Yeah. We can, when we put this down, I think the volume gets lost. I'm gonna use the bridge one. Yes. I turn it down. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of volume thing. That's fully engaged. Yeah. It's clear more hotter and also noise. Comes yeah. noise. Yeah. And uh, pay attention these are humbuckers. Yeah. Not just uh, humbuckers and uh, I have also a hash from Rocktron to mm -hmm. put down the noise yeah. and it somehow engaged to two o'clock. Okay. So theoretically in this uh, volume the uh, noise need to disappear but it's still present. Yeah. It, uh, the distortion put a lot of noise in the in the circuit. Yeah. Interesting. With the distortion yeah. up, it's more smooth. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not that much distortion. No. Uh, it's not very noisy. Changed. Yeah. Now I've changed yeah. in the in the neck. Yeah. It's seven point mm. seven kilo. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, with the distortion up, this uh, pickup, this humbucker, it's uh, produced smoother uh, tone. Yeah. Than it was with the distortion in half. <laughs> More sustained. Yeah. It's more compressed. Yeah. Maybe more compressed than distortion. I think so too. The, the feeling. 
is like a compression mark. Mm. Clear distortion, it's a compression, putting up the the, yeah, the, the, limit, the yeah. amp, yeah, yeah. The amplification, uh, cut the the peaks yeah. of the, the sound. This is clear, it's mm. uh, compression. Yeah. But the feeling is like a real compression, not a distortion compression. Yeah, and, that's it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, tell me what's happened with the other knobs that yeah. are there. Yeah, so we got the classical knobs, distortion and level. Yes. It's all up yeah. right now. Uh, we got an interesting knob called attack. Attack. And as we notice that it's compressed. Yes. I think it's an attack like. On as a you you told me already, we discussed this before, uh, and it is like this. Uh, it was a, a model, let's say, yes. in this period of time, yes. 80s, with yeah. the compression yeah. pedals and thing. Not just the compression of the distortion, normal distortion. Yeah. Compression over distortion. Yeah. Most of the time for sustain. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. And let's see. Very f let's see very fast in zero and then in maximum. What's happening? Okay. Yeah. Now it's zero. Um, yeah. More, more compression. Sure. It's different than the normal compressor uh, yes. knob. Yeah. Uh, as high as it is, as um, more attack. Um, or less attack it have. Uh, it cut yeah. the uh, faster the transit. The faster transit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. The next it's, one. It's, it's the one just for compression, I think. Yeah. It's just the compression knob. For sure. Next one is called punch. Punch. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That must be something special. It increases also the the, the volume, yeah. The, the, yeah, the amplification. Yeah. Uh, but most of the uh, thing that it's doing, as I feel in the bottom, in the bottom. Yeah. It's an equalizer. The, yeah. yeah. Like it's an equalizer. Equalizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It cut first. Yeah. In zero cut the equalizer and then the maximum yeah. put back the. Uh, somehow not quite yes. lows. There are mid lows. Yeah, yeah mid lows. Bottom end. Three hundred. Yeah. Somewhere. That's kind of thinny, shitty. It's more. Yeah. No, let it. Let, let yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> in, in too much. Too much. Okay. Yeah. And the last one. Last one is the edge knob. Uh huh. Don't know what it makes. It's like on the Marshall uh, new generation, the contour. The contour, yeah, right. Yeah, right. it's on the, the same way, yeah. yeah. And so. Finally, it's very nice with everything in 12. Yes. It's unbelievable. Yeah. You put the distortion at 12 o'clock, you got your bluesy sound. Yeah. But it always changes the volume. And you got your full distortion. Yeah. Typically, Typical. 80s style. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I was tempted to, to test it with um, the hot channel of uh, the yeah. sound, but I think we don't need it. No. It's, uh, no. it's the typically pedal creating distortion just for in front of an amp, like in 80s, yes. to have a... Maybe a one channel amp, yes. like the like JCM this. 800. Absolutely. Yeah. This and is then you got kind of... It's, distortion. it's not a booster like TS9. No. I, I, no. I don't want to consider not like a TS9. No. No. Even if they um, create this after TS9, maybe to improve the TS9 series, yes. 
but no. I don't think it sounds more metal than the uh, Tube Screamer. Mm -mm. No. no. No, not bad. You can yes. achieve some interesting uh, tones depending on the style that you need. Yeah. If you ask me, uh, okay, we didn't test with the other guitar, but I don't need... Uh, no, I think for the modern no metal, difference. No? no. But in a rock area can live yeah. this pedal. You can choose one setting of all the knobs yeah. when you use it as a boost pedal, but you don't need five knobs yep. to get a yep. special sound. It is like this. Yeah. Yeah. So this is for today. It was okay. the MS-10 from Ibanez. Guys, hope you like it. If you like it, search on eBay. On eBay. This uh, pedal Very is cheap. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, 75, 60. Uh, yeah, 50 60 to 60 euros. Bucks or euros? Uh, 60 dollars or? No, it's kind of the same. The same. Yeah. 60 to 70, 75 I saw also. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. If you like it. Yeah. yeah. So, that's it for today. Thank you so much. Welcome. Uh, you are welcome to the next episode with uh, Jochen. We're going to continue this uh, presentation, pedal pre presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a surprise, like always, for us also, <laughs> what kind <laughs> of pedal comes next uh, for you. Never forget to mix what do you like, because here we present the things, just the things that we really like. Yeah. Till next time. See ya.